What happens when you turn this knob? It makes the shock harder and softer, but why? Let me explain. This blue knob is just a cap. The actual adjuster is underneath. This is the actual adjuster. And here's how it works. Inside the shock rod, the base of the knob is a little Allen key. And that Allen key goes to a part inside of here. This little part right here, as you can see, is threaded. So what it does is it moves up and down. So the Allen key on there is tightening and loosening this bolt for simple terms. And it's actually moving it up and down inside of this threaded area. This little piece butts up against what's called a metering rod, which is right here. And it runs inside of the entire shock shaft. At the base of the shock shaft, just above the piston, you'll see a hole. It's actually on either side, you can see through it. This is an oil bypass port. The other side is at the very bottom of the shock shaft. Oil goes in, oil comes out. When you turn the knob, it's moving the metering rod up and down, pushing against this, which acts to block this port and this port. This piece here at the very bottom threads in below the piston right here. So oil actually travels in here and out here. This whole assembly goes like this. Here's the assembly laid next to the shock rod. All of the stuff on the bottom is inside. This shock rod here is completely hollow to accept all of these parts. This demonstrates the position as if the shock was set at full soft. And what you can see is this piece here is allowing full oil flow at the base. So this is gonna take oil in at the bottom. It's gonna run through the piston, bend the shims, but also bypass the piston and come out of this port. Essentially, when you turn this knob, you're just affecting how much oil flows through the bypass port and through the piston. And when it's turned for completely hard, this port and this port are completely blocked and it relies solely on the valving and the shim stack around the piston. Now it's time to get this all assembled and turn this into a shock. Thanks for watching. Comment below with what you'd like to see next.